this video you're watching now, you're going to see a little bit of what we did to turn this into our overlanding off-road trailer. Still needs a lot of work. Um, we put the rooftop tent on, and the t well, I bought the tent and that rack used, so that's why that's already fabricated and put on there. I just basically bolted it on. Uh, I have a loop in an aluminous rear bumper for my truck, and I took the, uh, it had a swing out carrier for jerry cans on it. I didn't like it, took up too much room. So I just took off the portion that holds the jerry cans on, and we bolted it on to the bed of this trailer. This is an M116A2 trailer. The reason I bought this one is it has a surge brake built into it. It also has a uh, Dexter axle with eight lug uh, wheels, which is a eight on six and a half pattern, which most uh, three quarter ton and one ton trucks have, or used to have until they went to metric patterns on Ford and Chevy. And then um, I've got a couple of drawer systems here that we've kind of collected, uh, toolboxes and stuff. That's my fridge. I don't know that I'm gonna put that in there though. And then um, we're going to redo the lights on it because they are obviously broken. And then it's just safer to have some nice LEDs on there. Order some off Amazon. They should be here shortly. And then if you notice this crap here, these parts, um, we're actually taking off all the old crap that we don't need. So there's a bunch of bracketry. This is like a kickstand for the back of it so it wouldn't flip over backwards when you load it. I don't see the point of having that. Um, let's see here. This this trailer also has a diesel tank in it. Um, I don't know if I turn on my light. Probably can't see too good under there, but there is a, there's a 50 gallon tank here um, with an electric pump so that you can carry diesel fuel in this trailer. I think it was a, a generator trailer too. So, We've taken all the brackets off of up in here. Um, there's a couple brackets on here that were really sharp and I almost cut my leg on them. And then we've got a hole to fix and do some odds and ends. We're gonna fix this uh, jack stand here. It's kind of hokey. I got it off of, uh, got it from Harbor Freight. It's not really the strongest. So we'll probably upgrade that. And then this one has uh, parking brakes on it on both sides. Usually you find these things and somebody's like ripped one of them off. Um, so pretty lucky to have both of those. And then I need to find a new master cylinder for the surge brake. Uh, that's the main reason I bought that thing. It tows really nice. Um, I've, I've gone 85, 90 with it on the back of my truck. The other thing we upgraded on it were the wheels. I think these are off a these are off a Duramax, like a LBZ truck. I think uh, it's just a 16 inch wheel. My buddy likes to call them the Grandpa wheels from Chevy's, uh, which is probably pretty fitting. And then this these trailers are pretty cool. They're a leaf sprung with a military wrap, and then they got shocks on them as well. So. And then you can see the brake line coming down to the center of that axle and going over to each brake there. We're going to redo some of the wiring on this when we do the brake lights and stuff too. It's got built-in reflectors on it. Um, so we'll kind of clean some of that stuff up. And then we're going to redo this rack. We're going to build a new one. I want one that just kind of bolts into the stake pockets, just kind of slides into them. That way, if I don't want this outside all winter long, I can just uh, put like a pulley system inside the garage here to pick it up. So that's where we're at on this right now. We're gonna continue the build. I got some more stuff coming. Thinking uh, we're gonna probably put a battery in it. Um, we have a, we're gonna redo the wiring so that the truck wiring, like when we hook the truck wiring up to this, we're gonna take the power side that comes off my truck and then run it up to charge the battery. We're gonna make enough room on this rack so we can put a solar panel on there. That way when it's just sitting, it'll charge the battery too. Um, kind of looking at a kitchen system with slide out drawers and stuff with a sink. 
a stove built in and some other stuff like that just to make it more accessible for four wheeling so those are kind of the plans right now this will probably be a couple video um, build I think we will probably end up uh, bed lining the inside of this this thing's pretty rust free usually these things are rotten um, and right now it's holding a bunch of our crap our coveralls and other stuff so yeah that'll be the uh, next step here I just went through and I greased all the spring mounts uh, and then I actually added these on here too because these axles um, these are really handy um, the trailer buddy so you can just grease your axles with this this is spring loaded and as you drive and it heats up the uh, grease gets pushed into the bearings so you don't really have to take the wheel apart and or the axle and the brake and everything and grease it all the time that just automatically greases it while you're driving which is really nice good easy way i think these things only cost like 20 bucks for two of them on amazon um so a great way to maintain i've probably got some other grease circuits i need to find I'm not sure i think this thing is probably uh, supposed to be greased too this is you can see it it moves to push in the surge brake when you slow down kind of a pain when you back up though because <laughs> it tries to put the brakes on when you when you're backing up a little bit um, but once it uh it is spring load, so once you, after you start, after your initial like push on it, after your initial push on it backing up, it'll push back out and kind of equalize so that the, so you're not putting the brakes on. And then I need to find a new bolt for that. So I'm missing one. These things would fold up for transport on planes or ships. That's why they do that. They're not a dump trailer. Don't ever let anyone tell you they're a dump trailer. They are not. And then took off a bunch of brackets on these sides. Just just taking stuff off we don't need. Um, makes it a bit lighter. I've probably taken 50 pounds of junk off that was on this already. So there you have it. We'll, uh, we'll keep more of this trailer project, you know, going and take more pictures and video of it for our fun little project so far.